Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Last time, last video, you may remember, we were playing around with these LEDs here. Uh, we had all the pins connected to all 20 LEDs. Well, I took one LED out, and the reason I took one LED out is because we needed one of those pins, the analog, one of the analog pins on the Arduino for the star of today's show, and that is the potentiometer. We're going to be learning about uh, the potentiometer today, and we're also going to be learning about a function called the map function. Those are going to be the two big things we learn. So um, what we're going to do today is we're going to pretend like this right here is the volume display, LED volume display on a stereo, and this is our volume control knob. And we are tasked with, as we change the volume up or down, we want our LED display to show us the current volume level. So that's that's the premise we're gonna work under. So real quick about potentiometers, what are they? Well, potentiometers are basically variable resistors, okay? So we have three pins here, here, and here on this potentiometer. And uh, it matches up like you see with this diagram here. We're going to feed one of the pins, one of the outside pins, 5 volts. We're going to feed the other outside pin, ground. And then the middle pin is the sweeper. We're going to hook it up to analog pin 5 on the Arduino. So basically we have some resistive material in between ground and 5 volts. And then we have this center tap here, or this sweeper arm, that is controlled by, you guessed it, this little knob here. As we turn this knob, it moves this sweeper up and down the resistive material. And it's going to, if the closer we get to 5 volts, then the higher the voltage is going to read on A5. The further away we get from 5 volts, the lower the voltage is going to read on A5. It creates a... I don't want to get too far into that. It's outside of the scope, but it creates like a, uh, if you want to study more, of course, Google potentiometers, but it basically creates a uh, resistor divider network. And uh, that, that math is actually pretty interesting if you want to check that out. But yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to feed five volts here. We're going to feed ground here. The center pin is going to go to A5 of the Arduino. We're going to read that voltage and we're going to light however many lights correspond with that voltage. That's how many lights we're going to light up. And that's what we're going to do in code. So let's talk about the connections on the Arduino. Um, I am currently using all the digital pins. All the digital pins starting with this LED. Going all the way down. We're, we're using digital pins. All of them. 0 through 13. So that's 14 digital pins. And then after that we're using 5 of the 6 analog pins also as digital write pins so we can light up all the way from zero, um, zero, zero to this would be 18 and then uh, this is going to be actually the last one here which we're going to make analog pin number five so I have a separate little breadboard set up here just for our potentiometer so this black lead here I have going to the negative part of the power rail here well over on the other side I have this line going to ground on the Arduino so this black is ground and then this red here I have feeding back here to this other power rail which I'm feeding with 5 volts from the Arduino board so we have ground we have 5 volts and then the yellow line in the middle I have it jumpered over here and then this jumper is going over to A5 so We've got ground, A5, and then we have 5 volts here. And then we're just going to take our potentiometer and we're going to plug it in. And we'll leave this here. And these are a pretty tight fit, but it's in there. Okay, so now we're going to leave this here and we're going to take a look at the code now. Set this down here. And let's go take a look at the code. We're actually going to write some code, okay? Um, 
I have a brand new Arduino, uh, like whenever you hit new, this is what you come up with. So we have our setup portion and then we have our loop portion. So the first thing we're gonna do in our setup portion is the only thing we need to do up here is we need to define all of those um, all of those pin modes as outputs for all of the LEDs. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a for loop to do that quickly. So I'm gonna do four, and then we need to initialize our counter variable of i. So it's gonna be an integer named i, set it equal to zero. And as long as it's less than or equal to 18, then i plus plus will be the increment. Then we gotta do our brackets, and then we hit enter, and it adds close brackets, as you can see here. So now we're gonna do pen mode, I comma output and output needs to be in all caps just like I put it there so now we've got 0 through 18 which is actually 19 pins are set up as outputs now we're going to come down to our loop and we're going to uh, write the code and this this program is actually going to be pretty short um, and let, let me explain let me explain real quick you know what, I'm gonna erase. Um, I'm, first, let me tell you, I'm getting out of order here. Whenever you, um, whenever you actually read this voltage off of A5, and you, you read that on the Arduino, the Arduino is going to translate that voltage to a number between zero to 1,023. So zero would be zero volts, 1,023 would be five volts, and then everything in between would be some corresponding number. So whenever we read that, whenever we read A5, analog read A5, it's gonna give us some number between zero and 1023. So what, we're, what we want to represent though is some number between zero and 18. So we can use that to light up an LED. So what, we, what we're gonna do in our program here is we're gonna use a function called, let me erase this real quick, the map function that Arduino provides. Great little function to use, especially with analog or read. So whenever you use the map function, here's, here's how you use it. You do map, there's a lot of stuff here. And we're gonna, you first thing you have to do is you have to say whatever the variable is that we're looking at. In this case, I'm gonna call it potty. <laughs> That's gonna be whatever we read, um, whenever we read that analog pen five for the potentiometer, we're gonna call it potty. So anyway, that's gonna be the variable you read. And then it wants to know what's the lowest that the incoming number can be. Okay, so um, from lowest, all right, I'll just put an L. And then it wants to know what's the highest it could be from highest. And then it wants to say, okay, um, I'm gonna start on another. Oh no, I can go over a little bit. So then it wants to know the two lowest and the two highest. And that's, that's how it works. So in our case, the from is going to be from A5. So it would be zero, to 1023 that's the range now what we want to do is we want to change that range to 0 to 18 so we can use that with our LEDs so that's what we're going to use in our program is this map function works really well so for instance if we got a value here of somewhere around 500 somewhere around mid scale this map function would take that 500 in and it would return a value of approximately nine. It's going. It's going to make you know make a corresponding value of approximately nine. And then uh, you know if it's somewhere around two hundred, it's going to give us a back a value of maybe three or four or something like that. So uh, that that function is really cool. Let's go ahead and write this code now. All right, and we're going to do a lot with one statement here. Okay, so hang on. We're going to read 
we're going to set a variable named potty, okay? So int potty equals, and we're going to go ahead and declare what it equals all in one fell swoop. And we're going to use our map function here. Map, open parentheses, and the variable that's right here, var, that is going to be, actually it's going to be analog read. So we're going to read that pen. We're going to read A5. Okay, that's the incoming variable. And then, like I said, we're going to do 0 and 1023. That's the lowest and the highest of that incoming variable. And then we want it to be mapped out to 0 to 18. All right, so now, now this variable potty that I've set up is going to have some value between 0 and 18. And it's going to be based on that A5 reading. All right, so now we're going to set up a for loop to light up all of the LEDs up to potty. So I is less than or equal to potty, I plus plus. So as long as, finish doing this. All right, so as long as I is less than or equal to potty, it's going to light up all these LEDs because we're about to tell it to. We'll say digital right I comma high. So it's going to set all LEDs up to potty, up to and including potty high. So let's go ahead. Let me get situated again here. Turn my potentiometer all the way down. Tell you what, we're going to kill these lights for the show. And we're going to upload this sketch. It's going to ask me to save it first. No syntax errors. Okay. And hopefully you can see that this yellow LED is lit. So as we turn, as we turn the potentiometer clockwise. Aha, it's working. The LEDs are lighting up. So that works exactly. And look, I'm all the way to the end now. I just made it to the end and that last LED just lit up. So the code works perfectly. Now there is a problem with this code. Can you guess what it is? Whenever I go back, like I go back down counterclockwise all the way, they stay lit. The reason they stay lit is because we never turned them off. <laughs> so let's, we need to write one more for loop. So let's go back to the program here. And we're going to go for int i equals potty plus one. So the reason we're start int i equals potty plus one, we want to start this loop at one above the, the LED right past the max volume, okay? And then we want to turn the rest of those, that one and the rest of them off. So we're going to start this loop at potty plus one, and then we'll say i is less than equal to 18, which is the last LED, and then we'll do i plus plus. Okay, and then this time we're going to do a digital write I comma low and that should do it let's try let me let me reset this again okay it's all the way counterclockwise right now we'll upload again and this time we're gonna turn it they're lighting up but wait I want I now turn the volume down and now they're going off so it works exactly like we want it to. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Let's go back to the code real quick. I wanna show you all a few important things to keep in mind. Um, if you notice pen mode, that M, that M needs to be capitalized. Capitalization is important in this language. Uh, the output on pen mode, I comma output, output has to be capitalized. Um, also the digital right, I comma high, if I do I comma high like that, 
and then I check it out. Look, it's got a problem with it. That has to be capitalized. Whenever you're setting those uh, the high or low, those also have to be capitalized. So just a few little just a few little notes there. But yeah, pretty cool. Potentiometers are neat, and I think that map function is really cool too. I think next time, since we've already we've done a servo and we've done some LEDs, we've had we've done a potentiometer. I think for the next video, we're gonna stay on the potentiometers and the servos for one more time, and we're gonna do the um, ever popular control a servo with a um, potentiometer. We'll do that just for shits and giggles, and uh, we'll we'll play around with that code, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Y'all have a great night or or morning, whatever time you're watching. Bye, y'all.